Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, I just want to say a massive thanks and shout out to my friends at Berry BMW in Hito. More so Tony Lewis as well and Mr. Hamza, who's standing behind the camera today and helping me. So check those guys out in the description below. If you want your BMW, you know to drop Tony Lewis a line for a quick quote. Now we'll move on to what's standing behind me or what's sitting behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. We're in a lit sort of warehouse building, which is reasonably well lit, but it's dark outside. So the color might not quite come across in camera, but trust me, it is absolutely stunning. I saw it very briefly in the sunshine early on, and it's just beautiful. What is the color? It's Verde Hermes. Basically, it's an individual color. So what are we looking at? Let's rewind a bit. I'm getting a bit excited. This behind me is an M340i Touring, which is a Touring version of the fantastic M340i that I had a couple of months ago. Remember that white one? It's done quite a few views, actually, that video. And I think I said in that video that it was nearly the perfect BMW that's on sale today. And I said, I reserved my judgment, and I said, I, I think when the Touring version comes out, estates, that is, in non-BMW language, I really think it's going to be the best all round package on sale today. And before even driving it, I have to say looks wise, it just ticks every box for me. Aside from the fact that this is a very expensive individual paint. So what is an M340i? Well, it's got the fantastic B58 engine in it. Uh, in this car, I think it's rated at about 375 brake horsepower. The car that I drove before certainly felt at least that. And the M340 that I had, I actually managed to average around 40 miles to the gallon. What is an individual paint color? Well, there's a couple of different individual paint colors on configurators that BMW put out. And usually you can only get individual paints on five, sevens, eight series, you know, the more exclusive, expensive cars. You can then get it on the M3s and M4s. Um, they usually let you have them towards the end of their life cycle. And in fact, now you can get them on the three series. Now there's two different individual paint colors. There's the individual paints that are usually around a thousand pounds and they'll be on the configurator. And then there's the real individual, as in individual, as in I want my car the same color as my trainers or the same color as the moss on my fence or whatever. Um, you can literally go to town and BMW should be able to paint your car in that color. It takes a little bit longer, usually about a month, and it costs a fair amount of money. In fact, this paintwork is four and a half thousand pounds alone. But I've been thinking about it quite a lot today. And I think in a world where everyone's on PCPs and, you know, your, your, your street's probably got 10 other BMWs in it and whatever else, if you do want to be individual, it kind of is a bit of a giveaway in the name, then go out and, you know, be brave and get yourself something an individual because Nobody's going to stop you in a white or a black or a gray M340 Touring, but they're definitely going to stop you in this. And in fact, when I had that Sonoma Green RS4, that was the biggest talking point in that car. In fact, it wasn't so much that, oh, wow, it's an RS4. It was more so, look at the color of that. And this is definitely going to have at least that effect. As with the Saloon M340i, it's the same front end, really. So we've got a few telltale signs. This one hasn't got the black pack on it, which I actually prefer. The, the white one that I had, if you can remember, had black bits where some of the serum gray stuff is. It had black wheels, etc. But I really like the serum gray. I think it looks fantastic and really, really does contrast well with this crazy paintwork. So we've got serum gray grills here. Um, and instead of your typical uh, vertical BMW grills on or designating this as a M light or an M 340i, we've got uh, a, a totally different design here, along with it being wrapped by a serum gray um, trim. Then down here, we've got serum gray canards, just like we have had in, you know, M135s and M140s in the past and up to this day. And the cooling, etc. it's got a bit more of an aggressive mouth, if you like. There's some bigger cooling vents. There's lots and lots of intercoolers behind there and radiators and stuff and obviously the brakes as well. Are these real? Um, yes, they are. Woohoo, real vents. So yeah, really nice around the front end. We'll move along the side. In terms of body panels, 
There is no difference between the panels on this M340 to the panels that are on a regular, say, 320D. Um, there's no extra flaring is, and stuff, as you would expect. You know, it's not an M, an actual M car. It's an M light, but that's what keeps it very discreet. And I actually think that I've talked about this before. In fact, Mr. Lenny, uh, Lenny the Geezer's 3 Series is a good demonstration of how aggressive a normal sort of 330i M Sport can look with the right parts in it. So these cars really um, adapt well to looking aggressive depending on the spec. So imagine this black and black, it would look really, really aggressive. Uh, we've got the unique alloy wheels. I think these are 19s, yep they are. And again, these are serum gray to tell you that this is an M light car. We've got the big M performance brakes behind the uh, serum gray wheels. So they're really nice. Walk along here a bit further, we've got the serum gray wing mirror caps, which again has been a telltale sign since the original M135i came out in 2012. They had oh, a slightly different, I think it was ferret gray on those, but now it's, now it's serum gray, they call it. Walking along the side of the car, it's nice to see this one's fully specced out. And in fact, this particular car, the list price on the road is about 60,000 pounds. Base, they're about 51 and a half, I believe. So when you factor in things like the four and a half thousand pound paintwork, the thousand pound panoramic roof, uh, we'll go inside in a minute and have a look at some of the uh, lovely luxuries in there. I guess you're gonna expect it to be about a 60,000 pound car, but people buy cars and finance these days, so make sure you drop Tony a line because I'm sure you know, he's got some movement and, uh, and hopefully he'll be able to quote you happy. Okay, well, the most important bit if you're buying a Touring is the boot, although I actually think aesthetically they just look better as Tourings and BMW 3 Series always have done, but that's just my own opinion. I'm sure, uh, sure that's going to be a mixed one. But let's open the boot and have a quick look in here. Well, as you'd expect, it's a massive, massive boot. It's got a lovely wide load area. And in fact, there's so little that juts into the actual boot now. Um, even the wheel arches themselves, where the suspension are and stuff, it's just, it's so neatly packaged in here that actually means you get a really good load area. And old 3 Series Tourings, had, I seem to have a lot more of a slanty sort of back end, um, which meant that it ate into boot space. So this one doesn't. And when you fold down those seats, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a massive, massive area. We'll play around more with boot space and I'll actually do some practical things with the car that I'm gonna review after this one, because I'm not taking this out on the road. This car is for sale. It's brand new. Um, it's not gonna do any miles. We'll start it up so you can hear it, but I'm certainly not driving it. Um, so we'll have a look at the practicalities of how good the boot is once I've actually um, got a car to review tomorrow. And I'll show you that at the end because it's also a very, very nice M340, also supplied by Berry BMW. Right, let's close the electric tailgate. Um, M340 badging. It looks really good. Again, serum grey. I'm, I'm really actually liking and digging the badging on these now. Um, I would still have the ones on the wings removed because I just don't like the end badges, but I'm sure most of you know that. As I have Hamza helping me with the camera today, I might be alone tomorrow. Um, I might as well demonstrate uh, the practicality and show you how big this car is. I know I go on about it a lot. I'm six foot four. I like to tell you guys just, just in case because otherwise cars might come across as a bit small, but I'm six foot four and I'm reasonably big. Um, so that front driver's seat is set to where I would sit. Let's have a look what it's like in here. So it's actually leg space, just perfect. You wouldn't want to be any larger or any taller. Um, but in terms of actual comfort, it's lovely in here. The backrest isn't too upright. Um, a lot of manufacturers do that to cheap boot space because obviously the steeper the backrest is, the more boot space you've got. But this one, it's lovely and laid back. And in fact, if I bring the headrest up, it's really comfortable in here. Really, really comfortable. The armrest is lovely. I've got drinks holders here. So this has got a three zone climate control. I'm sure that's probably an option, but really nice and handy, especially if you've got kids in the back because they might be cold or might be hot and vice versa to the front of the cabin. So. It's really nice, everything in here, the fit and finish is lovely. 
The interior, the leather, well, this is a upgraded leather, I have to say. It's a merino upgraded individual leather and it looks like an upgraded leather. The standard leather in the, in the three series is, is really nice, but this is just, it is beautiful. And it's the same stuff that's in my seven series. So I feel, I feel very at home sitting here and sitting in the back seat of a three series on merino leather is, is a special, special place. Um, everything else in here, I've got the all important panoramic roof, which I go on about a lot on my channel. If you're buying a three series, touring or if you're buying a five series touring or if you're buying any of the x cars i always say go for the roof if you're buying an m car fine you know have the carbon roof for the normal roof to save weight but in one of these that light is just so important and i think it's so important for adults and it's so important for kids as well because it just gives the feeling of so much more space in here it's really really nice really love it right let's jump into the most important seat and have a look at what it's like up there Okay, I'm in the car now. That annoying sound is telling me that the side lights are on because I always have the side lights on for the shots. I think it looks really good. Uh, let's lower this seat a little bit more. There you go, so you can see me. I've got a spec sheet here, so I thought we'd go through M340i, as I say, touring, base price on the road. I think they're about 51,000 pounds. Then you throw in the four and a half grand individual paint, which is Verde Hermes, I think basically like a beautiful moss metallic green. I don't know if that's how you describe it, but there you go. Uh, then we've got the uh, individual merino leather seats. Um, this has got the technology package, which has the HK sound, head up display, um, enhanced Bluetooth, etc., etc. It has the premium package, which includes the panoramic roof, front uh, electric seats, steering wheel heating, sun protection glass, extended storage, interior trim. We'll talk about the trims in a minute, but I think that's a package that most people are gonna go for, the premium package for 1,900 quid. Firstly, it comes with a roof, but there's quite a few nice little options in that package. Um, then the rest of it actually is all standard equipment. So you get things like the M Sport differential is standard. You get the M suspension, the M braking system. You get so much standard equipment on these M340s. And I remember touching upon that when I drove the saloon version, I think they're about 48 grand on the road. They come really well, well equipped. So definitely you don't need to go too crazy on one of these and uh, you can ignore the 60 grand price and pick one up for about 52, 53 with a few nice toys if you don't want to go for the individual paintwork. In terms of the actual cabin, well, it's very familiar in here now. It all feels extremely familiar to me actually because this is the operating system seven in here. We've got the digital cockpit, the way it's made, nothing squeaks or creaks. Everything is so well put together. And yes, there's not, you know, not everything's digital and not everything's touch this and touch that, but there are buttons where well, I want there to be buttons and there's touch screen, et cetera, and digital displays where you need digital displays. And I think they just have such a good balance uh, and they get it spot on. I really think that the three series interior is the best one on the market at the moment. Um, it really is lovely. Familiar leather steering wheel with the nice paddles on the back here. Uh, this one's heated. This is actually a new trim that I haven't seen that, that looks really cool. It's a bit like a carbon fiber trim, but it's, it's not quite. But yeah, everything's just really clean in here. And as I say, and as I said when I got in the back, the merino leather really does make it feel good. <laughs> It'd be hard not to go crazy in the option list, to be fair, with this car, but really nice. I think we need to fire it up just so you can hear it. This is a brand new car. And then before we end the video, I'll show you the car that I'm gonna be reviewing and that video should be up in the next few days or so, depending on how busy I am. So that's in Sport Plus. And that's in Comfort. Sport Plus. Right, I better not gas Hamza. Right then guys, that has been my very brief, although this video is probably quite long, walk around video of this amazing individual M340i Touring. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, stay tuned because 
in the next week or so, I'm actually gonna do a proper review on an M340i Touring. Not this one, unfortunately, because this is gonna be sold to some lucky customer. Uh, it is available to buy, so contact Tony for a quote on this particular one. I will show you very quickly the car that I'm gonna take off to review, and then I'll sign the video off. Okay, guys, this is the car that I'm gonna be running for the next video for the review. It is also an individual paint color, but it's not the expensive one. It's the cheaper individual paint. And we've got a lovely red interior, so it's a really nice spec car. So stay tuned for that video. Hamza, thank you very much. Barry BMW, thank you very much. Tony Lewis, wherever you are, you mysterious man. Thanks a lot, I'm gonna head off. Cheers, guys.